Hey guys, what's up? This is Kalisax back, and this video is going to be a little different. Basically, this is going to be two videos put into one. So, basically, um, this video is going to be covering a review of a game called Spiral Knights, and it's also going to be covering where I was, why I was gone for however long it was, like two, three months maybe? I don't know. I really don't know. Anyway. First, we're going to do the review of Spiral Knights. Now, uh, I'm going to start with the pros of Spiral Knights, and then we're going to go with the cons. So, the uh, pros of Spiral Knights is, first off, it's free. So, it's completely free to play. Um, so, that's always good. And another thing I really liked about it was the graphics. They were cartoony enough to where... Um, like you didn't have, you didn't really have to take the game too seriously. It's kind of more for for fun, but at the same time, they were just like kind of MMO RPG ish enough to where it's not like too childish or anything. I, I personally really like the graphics on it. And another thing I liked was the setting. Um, I really like the setting on it. It was it's on like a it's a the backstory is a. Basically, a big ship of these little cartoony night people, kind of. Like, you'll, you'll see them on screen, obviously. But they kind of just crashed onto this mysterious planet, and it's basically up to you to figure out, like, or basically to explore the world, almost. And basically, if I keep talking about what the game's about, um, this video will be, like, two hours long. Anyway. Um, so I like the backstory and all that stuff. Another thing I liked was the combat. The combat felt really good, and I love how with almost every kill, not every single one, but pretty much every kill, you would get loot. Um, what the loot's for, I'm not, I haven't really figured that out yet, but it just, it feels really re rewarding to get that loot. Um, some other things I liked were the, how do I, I don't know how to say it the vast options, I guess, of, like, weapons and armor and all this stuff. Like, there's a ton of different armors, there's a ton of different weapons, there's um, a ton of different blasters, like the guns and stuff. Um, I really liked all the options you had, and I also liked the com customization in the beginning. It was um, just small enough um, to where you didn't feel, like, overwhelmed with all the options and stuff, but it was, at the same time, big enough to where you feel like you, you're going to have, like, an independent character. Um, some other things I liked. Um, I have to say the option to play online or to play solo. I mean, yes, it is a MMORPG, and... Whenever you go into the Haven, which is kind of like the hub, kind of, where you go, basically where all the trading and the shops and the, everything is, basically just all that, that is where all the players and stuff run around. But whenever you go on missions, you have the option to play with a private party, um, play in a public party, or to play solo. And I, I think there was one more option, but I forget what it was. Um, I've usually... Uh, pick to play solo, mainly because I don't have any friends that play this game yet, um, and mainly um, because, like, I don't know, I just felt like the game seemed like a bit more of a single-player-ish game, but at the same time, you had that multiplayer option. I really only played public mat or public mission once, and that was on the very first mission before I even realized that you could play solo. Um, another thing I like is the, the AIs, unlike in most games, the AIs will actually help you. Like, the ones that will follow you around and stuff, they actu they're actually, you know, pretty good at fighting. Because, <laughs> you know, in most games, like in Halo and Call of Duty and stuff like that, the AIs on your team, they can't do crap. But in this game, they, they're actually worth something. Um, I'm trying to think. What other things do I like about this game? I have nothing written down, by the way. I'm just winging this. <laughs> just going off the top of my head. I just finished playing it about 20 minutes ago, so... 
All right, I think that's that's all I can think of for now. If I think of any more, I'll tell you. But now to the cons. Um, the first thing that pops into my mind is the occasional exceedingly long loading screens. I mean, a couple loading screens a session will go by like really fast. So just they're, they're really quick. They'll load within like two seconds. But most of them, they take a while. They'll take. I think the longest one that I took me about two minutes. I think. It took a while. I honestly, I was at the point where I thought my game was frozen. I almost shut it off, but then it loaded me in. I was like, whoa. <laughs> so that's probably, that's the first one that popped into my mind. Another con would be the uh, item slots. Or, I guess, like, how many items you can hold. Because you, uh, I just stumbled myself. <laughs> anyway, you can only hold four items at a time. Um, you have like four item little slots, and once those are filled up, you can't hold any more. And like I said earlier, you get a lot of loot in this game. Um, and it kind of stinks because you can't even pick up a lot of the loot. <sighs> and so basically, what I find myself doing a lot is I'm using some of the more worthless stuff that I pick up in my inventory, and I'll use that, and then it'll get rid of that, and I'll pick up the better stuff. That's what I, that's what it feels like I have to do a lot. And it's kind of annoying, honestly. So I'm hoping that they, that eventually, as you progress during the game, you get more slots. I'm not sure. I'm only a level three, but actually, in that game, that's it's hard to level up in that game. That's another con. Well, actually, I don't know. That's kind of in the middle because I like that you don't that it takes a while to level up, but I also don't like that it takes a while to level up. Um, because I don't like it because I feel like you have to wait longer to get the better stuff but at the same time I like it because that makes you want to come back and play the game more that makes you want to advance more and it takes longer it takes more skill um, another con is probably I'd have to say the max amount of weapons you can carry you can only carry two weapons at a time uh, you can only carry your gun or like your uh, ranged weapon and you can carry your sword or your melee weapon that's it I was hoping for at least three or four um, weapon slots and you only get two so that kind of sinks because I mean you have like um, there are basically there are three types of weapons in the game there are the melee weapons there are the guns and there are the bombs however if you want to use the bombs you have to switch out your gun for it and if you want to use the gun you have to switch out your bomb for it I was I mean, I think uh, in a later update, there should be a separate slot for the bombs. I think that would, you know, that'd be nice. A um, couple of things I don't like. Um, for a while, I mean, I'm getting kind of used to it now. But for a while, um, Haven, like the hub, which I was talking about earlier, it's uh, kind of hard to get around. Like, everything is really spread out and you can't really like open up a map to show you where everything is you just kind of have to like guess like I was walking around for about 10 minutes just trying to find the bazaar or like the shops and so that wasn't very fun a couple other things I don't like um the uh the elevator system I mean it's cool at times but at at the same time, it's just kind of, like, you don't really get to travel very much. Um, I was hoping this, whenever I downloaded this game, I had a lot of hopes for it. And a lot of them, they met, but at the same time, they didn't meet a few of them. This is the ones they didn't meet. I was hoping I get to kind of explore and free roam. But basically, you get to do that until you get to Haven. And once you get to Haven, it's all, like, elevators. Like, you go into an elevator, and it'll, like, teleport you to the next place. You don't get to explore very much. Hmm. So that's another thing I don't like. Um, what's another thing I don't like? I think that's it. Honestly. Uh, yeah, I think that's it on it. Um, so, yeah, that's it for the, uh, the review portion of the video. And now, I guess I'm just going to cut to the why I was gone, slash, um, channel update, and all that stuff. So, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so, 
that was the review portion of the video and now we are on to the whole why I was gone and stuff like that portion so um, this probably shouldn't take very long uh, basically just being honest the only, really one of the main reasons why I stopped for a while was I just kind of, I didn't feel it anymore, like I didn't feel the same like fire, the same drive to keep recording videos and stuff Not for a, like a long time, like every hmm, month, a week or so, no, uh, more common than that, maybe like once every few days or so, I would think to myself like, like man, I should really probably record a video, but I was like, oh, but I just really don't want to. Um, so that was it for a while, and eventually I thought, um, I was like, okay, I'm going to start recording again, because so I started to get my, my drive back. I started f wanting to record again. And then all of a sudden, I somehow fixed my Xbox 360, which I, had, I hadn't played in months, so I decided, you know what, let's hop on my Xbox 360. I get on, all my friends are sitting there waiting on me, and I get on, and all of a sudden they... I'll start freaking out. We just started playing Xbox for a while, and I kind of just basically didn't even touch my PC for a week or so. And then also I started getting on my computer a little bit just for like YouTube and stuff, but I was still mainly playing Xbox. And um, that was basically it. Like I just kind of, I don't know, really know what happened. I mean, I I could go the cowardice route and say like. I was on vacation and stuff like that. I mean, I was. I was on vacation. Not, obviously not for the months that I was gone. But I was on a few vacations during that time. But I'm not going to blame it on that. I mean, I was. it was basically just me not wanting to record or anything. But I'm back. I've got that drive back. I want to record again. And I'm happy. And just... Yeah, <laughs> you know, I'm just like, woo, I'm fired up, I guess you could say, pumped up, ready to record, and I've downloaded a bunch of new games, I can't even, I can't even count, but I've downloaded a bunch of new games, I'm hoping to bring you guys, I'm hoping to start this as like a new series, like a game review series where I'll download free, cheap, expensive, doesn't really matter, the price, just whenever I download a game, the first thing I'm going to do on that game is make a video of me playing it, and I'm hoping that in, fu in the future those videos will be live commentary, um, not pre-recorded like this one, which obviously you could, hopefully you could tell this was pre-recorded or else I'm kind of concerned. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm hoping that they'll be live. Um, this one had to be pre-recorded because, well, basically I was playing at like 2 in the morning, I was really tired, and... I was just like, eh, like, I don't really want to, like, my voice is all groggly and nasty, and I was just like, eh, I'll just pre-record it. Plus, it worked out in the long run, because I could edit together all the clips and stuff. So, that's basically where the channel stands now, and that was the, uh, the Spiral Knights review. Um, a very fun game. I really, really, really liked it. Uh, like, all the cons that I said, they were... Yes, I don't like those parts of the game, but overall, the game itself is very fun. Um, its replay value, to me, is up there. I think it's got a lot of replay value. And it's still, the game was just released, so um, it still has a lot of potential, I think. So I hope you pick it up. It's really fun. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. And this is Kalisax, and I am out for now. See you guys later.